Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we'll do a hands-on demo for AWS Key Management Service and we will see how we can create a KMS key and how we can make use of the key to encrypt and decrypt the files. And it is going to be a very crisp demo, so please don't miss out on this and watch the video till the end. And if you haven't seen the previous episode on KMS, where we have discussed in depth about KMS and how it works, then please check that out. It is a must before taking this demo. So if you're ready, let's begin. So moving on to the demo part, the first thing for us to do is head over to AWS Management Console and search for KMS. You can search it here as well. You can search for KMS and once you click on this, you will reach here. So here you see three options. So the first one is AWS Managed Keys. The second one is Customer Managed Keys and the third one is Custom Key Stores. So this is the first one AWS Managed Keys. It gets created during the integration of AWS service as I mentioned before. So currently I don't have any integrations in place so you don't see any keys here. The second one we know about Customer Managed CM Keys. So here you can create and manage it for the services that you want to use. The rotation, the schedule deletion, all this is managed by you in the second option. And the third one that you see here, so KMS actually supports custom key stores, which is backed by AWS Cloud HSM clusters. So Cloud HSM is your AWS service that provides hardware security modules in the AWS cloud. And when you create an AWS KMS uh, customer master key in a custom key store, AWS actually generates and stores non-extractable key material for the CMK in an AWS Cloud HSM cluster that you own or manage. So currently we are not going to look into this and because our focus today will be on the second one that is a customer managed keys. So just click on that. And if you haven't created any keys under your customer managed keys, this will be totally empty. But in order for the demo, I have created one already. So if you wish to create a key, then just click on create key. And here you will get a form where you can create the key as per your requirement. So we have two options here. One is the symmetric key and the other one is asymmetric key. So symmetric, as we know, we generate one key and it will be used for both encryption and decryption. And the asymmetric key represents a mathematically related public key and private key pair that you can use for encryption and decryption or signing and verification, but not both. So if you want to encrypt a file using an asymmetric key, it will be using a public key to create the encryption data and we will use the private key to decrypt it. Here you will have a pair of keys, one the public and the other one will be the private one, which you will use to encrypt and decrypt the data that you have. So you have to make the decision on which type of keys that you want to use. So if you click on advanced setting for symmetric keys or advanced options, you can just click on this. So you will have three options. The first one is KMS, the second one is external and the third one is custom key store that is Cloud HSM. So if you choose KMS, what will happen is AWS will generate the key ID and the key for you. So this is the most basic and simple one. And if you choose or if you want to choose your own keys and you want to import your own keys, so you can just click on external that will allow you to import your own key. And the third one for you is the Cloud HSM. You can choose that as well, one that we discussed just now. But as I don't have any Cloud HSM stores, I will not be using it. We will choose KMS and we'll click on next. So choose on KMS and click on next. So here you can provide an alias name that you have or description and uh, you can also provide a tag as per your needs and these things that you see here description and tags they are optional but you can provide an alias name so I'll just provide an alias name hello demo but I'll not be creating this but just to show you I'll just provide an alias name here then you can just click on next here you have to define the key administration permission as to who can change or delete or modify the properties of the key. So you can choose your ID. So I'll just mine and below you can enable the option for allow key administration to delete this key. And uh, this will allow you to delete the key and uh, the account that you want to provide, you can provide that and it will let you delete the key or uh, schedule the deletion for this. This is a very good thing. So just Keep this in mind that the administrator should have the permission to delete the key. If you don't want this, you can just uncheck that, but I would advise you to keep it as well and click on next. So I don't want to set this permission as this permission is basically for like you can select the IAM user and rules that can use a CMK in cryptographic operation. You can choose their account, but I don't want to 
choose anything here i'll just leave it we don't need it as of now move on to the next thing that we have here here so here you can specify the aws account this can use the key and administrators of the accounts you specify are responsible for managing and permissions that allow their im users and roles to use this key so if you just click on this you can add the im user or the account that you want uh, this key to have permissions for for now we don't want any of this so just don't add anything from this you just remove it and just click on next and now review the changes so the key type is symmetric key specification is symmetric underscore default key usage is encryption and decryption as i told you you'll use the same uh, key for encryption and decryption and the origin is kms because we chose kms and one thing that you remember is you cannot change the key configuration of that the key is created so don't worry about that but just keep this in mind because uh, you might get confused later on so just have this point in your mind already so below you see key policy here and here the most important thing for you to note is the sid so come down so if you see here the sid we have allow access for key administrator effect is allow and the principle that is it is for you your user and the actions that are supported for you is all the actions that the kms key provides you and the resources is start so it tells you that you have permissions to execute all the operations that you have on that particular key and for using kms and just click on finish so once you clicked on finish you will come back here and your key will be visible to you and if you can just click on the key that you have recently created and you can go to key actions here you can see you can enable it you can disable it you can schedule the key deletion or you can add or edit tags here as well so here if i just click on this one once again you can see the properties as well you have the alias you have the status you have the creation date you have the arn that is very important for us to make use of and all the properties that we had set so the most important thing for us right now is to use the key id so this is what we'll use to encrypt and decrypt the file so i hope you have created an ec2 instance and uh, i hope you know how to log into that instance as well so just go over to your ec2 instance and there we'll run a couple of commands and we i'll show you how you can encrypt and decrypt the file so in order to encrypt and decrypt we'll make use of the aws cli and the command i have used here i'll put that on the description as well for you to use so don't worry about that so log into the ec2 instance that you have created and uh, now you're good to go so one more thing that is really important for you to understand is that if you face an authentication issue while executing these commands for aws then you can add the im policy for kms on your ec2 instance or else in the instance itself configure the aws credentials by using the aws configure command so if so if you just type aws configure you can add the access key id you can give the secret access key and then you can provide the default region name and you can provide the output format that is json for me and just you can have the credentials in place so that you don't face any problems while executing the command so in order to encrypt a file let's create one that we want to encrypt so the only thing that we need here is we can just create a simple plain file and then we can try and encrypt it so let's create one so you can just type vim and the file name that you want so i'll give my file name as my data secret dot txt so it will be my text file just click on enter just hit enter here then just type i so you will reach the insert mode and you can just paste the content that you want so let's suppose this is my secret code that i have and that is what we have to protect so what you can do you can just if you want to save it you can just uh, type escape semicolon wq and just hit enter so it will save it for you if you want to view this once again you can just do it using cat so this is what we are going to protect isn't it so what we are going to do is we are going to use the kms encrypt algorithm or the encrypt mechanism to basically encrypt it to or to protect it for that we'll type aws and we'll use the resource that is a kms and the function that we will use is encrypt so aws kms encrypt space hyphen hyphen key id we'll use the key id that we have created just now and just copy the key id and just paste it here 
So now that we have pasted the key ID, what we can do, we can provide the path of the file name that we want to encrypt. So plain text file b my and provide the file name my data secret dot txt and the output that we want is to be text and the query that we will provide is ciphertext because we will be generating the ciphertext query ciphertext blob and then we will encode it with base uh, decode it with base64 and we'll save it in a new file my encrypted file so what we are doing it here is we are calling the encrypt functionality we are providing the uh, a key id that we just generated for our kms key we are providing the plain text file path that is my data secret.txt which has this content and the output will be text and the query will be ciphertext blob c i p h e r t e x t so this will be small t sorry for that ciphertext blob and blob will be capital b and base 64 hyphen hyphen decode and we'll put this data or the output that we will get in this particular file my encrypted file and if you have configured your AWS credentials properly. Once you hit enter, you will be able to generate the encoded format or the encrypted format of this particular file, and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so we did not get any errors. Just do a ls, you'll see a new file. Just copy this and do a cat. Let's see if we get the proper output or not. Okay, yeah, we got the proper output. So this is some kind of gibberish but this is the way we protect the data here. So this actually gives you the encrypted format of the data. Now, what you can do is just click on enter, just hit enter for a couple of times. And now that you have this particular file, this is your secret file and you can share it with anyone in order to keep it secure. And if they have the key that you are using for encryption, they can also decrypt it. So how are you going to decrypt this message once again? So we'll use the same AWS KMS uh, decrypt command. Decrypt. Here you don't have to provide the key ID because the metadata of this particular encrypted file will know which key ID to be used. So don't worry about that. So the ciphertext blob will be so ciphertext hyphen blob. And the file path will be file b double slash my encrypted file hyphen hyphen output is text as we know then hyphen hyphen query is plain text because we want the plain text one. Now you provide the base64 and you tell it to decode it and you pass the new plain text file isn't it that is what we want to read isn't it so this will give us the decrypted data and the data will be stored inside this particular my plain text file so what we have done is we have aws kms decrypt we have provided the cipher text blob file path file b and this is the file path that we have for the encrypted code or the encrypted data my encrypted file hyphen hyphen output will be the text and the query will be plain text now and the base64 decode will actually put the content the new content or the existing content the actual content into this file and if everything is fine you will not get any errors you will just be able to uh, view the exact data that we have here and not this encoded one or the encrypted one so just click on enter or hit enter okay so there are no errors just do ls you will see the plain text file just do a cat for that particular file see so the first step that we did was we created the file so this file we created we added the 
data here this is a secret code a secret data here we actually encrypted it and we created the encrypted file that is the my encrypted file and this was the content for the encrypted file isn't it and now what we did we took the encrypted file and we decrypted it using the decrypt command and once we decrypted it we stored the decrypted content inside my plain text file and once we did a cat on the my plain text file we are able to see the data again so this is the key that we have created i don't want to keep it for now because it may cost me so i'll just click on this and i will disable it so disabling a key prevents you from using it in any cryptographic operation so disabling might prevent you from accessing resources in the aws services that use this key so monitor to monitor attempts to this uh, to use the key while it is disabled create an amazon cloudwatch alarm so you can do this so that your users get notified that this key has been disabled and you can just click on this confirm that you want to disable this key and you can click on disable key so now the status of the key is disabled i can just click on this once again and i can enable it or else i can schedule key deletion so deleting a key makes all data encrypted under that key unrecoverable you can create an alarm that alerts you about any attempt to use the key during the waiting period so what we can do is waiting period is enter a waiting period between 7 and 30 days so you have to so if you just keep 6 days it will not work you have to just keep above or exactly 7 days so I confirm that uh, you, you want to schedule this key for deletion after a period of 7 days. So waiting period is 7 days. So after that it will be deleted. So just click on confirm and just cl click on schedule deletion. So pending deletion, the status changed to pending deletion from disabled. So now let's go ahead and go back to our uh, console or the command line that we had. Here what we can do is we can just try and run the encryption algorithm once again or the encryption uh, command once again the encryption command and i'm using this key id which is currently disabled or pending deletion so it should not work and i just wanted to show you like what happens if you are going to use this so just click on so you can just run the command once again see an error occurred invalid state exception when calling the encryption operation so for this key id the status is pending deletion okay so that was it for today's session i hope you will try out the commands that we just discussed in the demo and you will let me know how did it go for you so i hope you enjoyed the session that we had today if you did please make sure that you like the video it really helps the channel and if you are new you are most welcome and please do subscribe so that i get another chance from you to provide better content in the future so if you would like to support this channel please hit the like button comment on what you like what you didn't and please do subscribe if you haven't already and join the channel membership and become a Mandalorian and support me if you can. So stay safe, stay healthy. I'll meet you in the next session for AWS. Until next time, it's Pythonic signing off.